U.S. National Security Advisor Brzezinski flew to Pakistan to set about rallying resistance. He wanted to arm the Mujahideen without revealing America's role. The Iraqis had already proved these tactics against Kurdish rebels, but their strategy failed to recognize that defensive armies could also move quickly into position. Away from the Kurdish mountains, large armies could become clear targets for Iranian heavy artillery. This does not mean stationing U.S. ground forces in the Arabian Peninsula, but it does mean American participation in joint exercises involving both air and ground forces. It means maintaining a capable U.S. naval presence in the region. Israel and many of the Arab states have for the first time found themselves confronting the same aggressor. This principle must be elaborated to provide for, for Israel's security and recognition, and at the same time for legitimate Palestinian political rights. Now we can see a new world coming into view, a world in which there is the very real prospect of a new world order, Saudi Arabian Foreign Minister Saud Al Faisal on Friday said that his country has proposed to the United Nations to form an international body to fight terrorism across the globe. Uh, our close friend and ally Kuwait, we've had uh, a important strategic dialogue. هل تؤيد إعدام صدام حسين؟ أربعة آلاف وسبعمائة وسبعة وثمانون ثمانية وثمانون فاصلة ستة من الشارع لا تعش فاصلة أربعة لا ماذا تقول لهم؟ بس دقيقة قبل ما يجوا إيه أنا أريد أبدأ البرنامج أو الحلقة أدعو المشاهدين لأن نقرأ الفاتحة على روح الرئيس الشهيد صدام حسين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم على أحد نحن هنا ندين رجل well let me just ask you this if they did not have these weapons of mass destruction though Granted, all of that is true. Mm -hmm. Why then did they pose an immediate threat to us, to well, this country? The, you and a few other critics are the only people I've heard use the phrase immediate threat. I didn't. The president didn't. And uh, it's become kind of folklore that that's, that's what's happened. The president went... You're saying that nobody in the administration uh, said I, that? I can't speak for nobody, everybody in the administration, and say nobody said the vice that. vice president didn't say that? Not, it, it, if you have any citations... Uh, I'd like to see it. Here it says, some have argued that the, nu this is you speaking, some have argued that the nuclear threat from Iraq is not imminent, that Saddam is at least five to seven years away from having nuclear weapons. I would not be so certain. Mm -hmm. And, and, uh, Close to imminent. <laughs> well, um, I, I tried to be precise and I've tried to be accurate. I'm so No terrorist state poses a greater or more immediate threat to the security mm -hmm. of our people and the stability of the world than the regime of Saddam Hussein in Iraq. Mm -hmm. um, this violence was sparked by an incident involving this white car. Iraqi police say the car contained weapons and explosives and was driven by two undercover British servicemen dressed as Arabs. Iraqi police have issued these pictures of the men. The MODs asked us not to identify them. They're accused of killing one Iraqi policeman and wounding another. A policeman approached them and then one of these guys fired at him. Then the police managed to capture them. They refused to say what their mission was. They said they were British soldiers and to ask their commander about their mission.
Arriving in formal robes to a warm welcome, he told them that despite progress in Afghanistan since the end of Taliban rule, they still needed to tackle terrorism and poppy growing for drugs. That could only be done, he said, through cooperation with neighbouring Pakistan. I don't think, ladies and gentlemen, the number of foreign private military contractors in Pakistan has risen dramatically in the last few months. But do thousands and thousands of armed men on Pakistan's roads really add to security in the country? And when I'm joined by our correspondent, Aliona Minkowski, who's in Washington, D.C. Hello there, Aliona. So what can you tell us about this situation? Thanks, Julia. Well, that's the question that people are asking is, can they actually give more security in the country? Because at this point, these private military contractors are becoming better known for stirring up trouble than actually doing any good. We must root out terrorism and extremism. Immediately following the blast, Iran's religious leaders blame the U.S. for the attack. What we can say without doubt about this issue is that the fingertips of America and Israel are definitely on this incident. So don't be fighting each other over chicken feed. That's what you're doing. Then in Sahih Muslim we are told, a Muslim ruler will die and there will be disagreement concerning succession. And then a man is going to come out of Makkah. His name will be my name and his father's name will be my father's name. Said the Prophet of Islam, Islam, he'd have a broad forehead and a large nose, and he'll be known as Al Mahdi. Goodbye to bad rubbish. The British tried when Britain was the ruling state in the world and the British failed and then the Russians tried when they had the superpower, the Soviet Union and after 12 years the Russians failed and guess who is trying now? Yes, the war, the war in Khorasan has just begun, Mr. Bush. It has just begun. On that day, when Islam liberates Afghanistan, I believe it is that army which will be unstoppable until it reaches Jerusalem.